If you also want to learn hacking really fast, this video is only for you. In this simple video, I am going to tell you how you can learn hacking in a very small period of time. So, please watch this video till the end, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Before we start, remember that this video is only for educational purposes. Hacking someone without their permission is strictly prohibited. If you do so, then it can lead you to serious consequences. Before we talk about how to learn hacking, let's know what hacking actually is. Hacking is the act of identifying and then exploiting weaknesses in a computer system or network, usually to gain unauthorized access to personal or organizational data. Hacking is not always a malicious activity, but the term has mostly negative connotations due to its association with cybercrime. There are many types of hackers like pen testers, bug bounty hunter, etc. But in this video, I'm going to tell you about four most common of them. First on our list are white hat hackers. White hat hackers are the one who is authorized or the certified hackers who work for the government and organizations by performing penetration testing and identifying loopholes in their cybersecurity. They also ensure the protection from the malicious cyber crimes. They work under the rules and regulations provided by the government. That's why they are called ethical hackers or cybersecurity experts. On the opposite side, we have black hat hackers. They are often called crackers. Black hat hackers can gain the unauthorized access of your system and destroy your vital data. The method of attacking they use co by hacking practices they have learned earlier. They are considered to be criminals and can be easily identified because of their malicious actions. Grey hat hackers fall somewhere in the category between white hat and black hat hackers. They are not legally authorized hackers. They work with both good and bad intentions. They can use their skills for personal gain. It all depends upon the hacker. If a grey hat hacker uses his skill for his personal gains, he, she, is considered as black hat hackers. Finally, we have script kiddies. They are the most dangerous people in terms of hackers. A script kiddie is an unskilled person who uses scripts or downloads tools available for hacking provided by other hackers. They attempt to attack computer systems and networks and deface websites. Their main purpose is to impress their friends and society. Generally, script kiddies are juveniles who are unskilled about hacking. Now let's move to our main topic and know what are the thing that can help you learn hacking fast. If you stay consistent and learn all these things properly, I am pretty sure nobody is going to stop you in becoming a skilled hacker. Our first thing is basic IT and computer skills. To begin your path as an ethical hacker, you must be acquainted with computers and have fundamental operating system abilities. You cannot learn the rest of the essential abilities for ethical hacking without first mastering these fundamental IT skills. The next thing which is most important for your fast progress are programming languages. It's critical to recognize the benefits and drawbacks of any programming language if you're a beginner. The programming language you use should be suitable for the task at hand. The most popular languages used by hackers are Python, Ruby, C and C++, PHP, JavaScript and ASP.NET. By the way, you should also learn Bash because it would help you a lot in scripting. Another most fundamental part of learning hacking is networking. Nowadays, most gadgets are linked to some type of network, and such networks are frequently the targets of cyber attacks. Thus, it is crucial to learn about computer networking. You may learn how networks can serve as a gateway for malevolent hackers by taking courses in computer networking. You can then utilize this knowledge to defend and secure networks. Moreover, it will help you understand different ports of computers that could be an entry point for a hacker to get in a computer. Websites and web-based apps are highly common ways for people to share and obtain information online, making them ideal targets for cyber attacks. Ethical hackers must therefore understand how to protect online digital data against malicious, or black hat hackers. You must be able to identify and fix web application flaws or vulnerabilities if you want to be considered an ethical hacker. You must grasp HTML and be able to handle code written in standard web application programming languages such as JavaScript and PHP. Linux OS is also a fundamental part of ethical hacking. Understanding how Linux and Linux-based systems operate is important for ethical hackers because it is an open source operating system that may be used on a variety of servers, including web servers. As a result, Linux has become a favorite target for hostile hackers. As your hacking talents improve, you could think about studying Windows OS, even though it is less common in the hacker world. Windows is the operating system used by many of the top enterprises in the world. Hence, Windows OS familiarity is necessary for cybersecurity specialists. Next, we have cryptography. In order to send data between devices or networks without a third party being able to understand it, even if they manage to read it, a readable piece of data is converted into an unreadable format using cryptography. In order to test networks and communication channels, 
and safeguard them from black hat hackers, hackers must grasp various encryption techniques and become familiar with their flaws. This is crucial not just to stop unwanted hackers, but also to stop internal employees from purposefully or accidentally disclosing confidential information. In addition to technical tactics, hackers employ psychological strategies to harm people in order to deceive legitimate users into disclosing passwords or other private information to a third party, which they subsequently use to access a system, malicious hackers have developed techniques. Hackers may also utilize misleading emails, landing sites, and digital advertisements to deceive consumers into opening an attachment or clicking on a link that contains malware. In order to learn how to effectively counter these strategies, Ethical hackers must also learn psychology and social engineering techniques. Okay, now you know what are the essential things you need to become a skilled hacker, but how can we learn all these things? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you where you can find all these resources for free. First on our list is YouTube. YouTube has thousands of channels that can help you learn security very deeply. In fact, in my early days, I used YouTube channel to build up my hacking skills. Here are a few channels I think you should follow. It includes Network Chuck, John Hammond, Null Bytes, Z Security, LOE Liang Yang, and finally David Bombal. These channels will help you a lot in clearing your basics of hacking. The next resource through which you can build up your hacking skills are online blogs. There are a lot of free blogs on the internet that are up almost every topic related to ethical hacking. With a little research, you can get answers to your every question. Next, we have CTFs. CTFs stand for Capture the Flag. These are hacking challenge that can help you practice your hacking skills. These are very important assets. No, only you can practice, but also you can learn a lot from them. Two platform I recommend, you are Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. These are free platforms where some of the modules are paid. If you want to become a skilled hacker, you have to stay consistent. Practice, 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 and you will be a skilled hacker in months. All right, everyone, that's all for today's video. If you found this video useful, please have a subscribe and don't forget to thumb up. Your likes motivate us for making more content like this.